Hey everyone, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making this ruffled top. I'll be making a small in this video, but you can find sizes X small to 3X large down below in the written pattern. But here are the supplies you'll be needing. So I have over here my category 4 yarn and now my 5 millimeter hook. From here, you want to make a slip knot and you can do this any way you would like. After that, we're going to make a chain of 95 and to make a chain, all you want to do is just yarn over, pull through, again just yarning over, pulling through until you have a total of 95. So I have made it back here with my chain of 95. Now we're going to skip these first two chains and inserting our hook into this third chain, we're going to single crochet into single crochet, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to skip this next chain and into the next one, we're going to do an increase. So we're going to work two single crochets into here. So insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then into this same chain, doing that one more time, insert your hook, pull through, yarning over, pull through two. Now doing that same thing, skip a chain, into the next one, work two single crochets, so that's one, into the same space, two, Skip a chain, works two single crochets into the next one, and then right to that same space here. So all you want to do from here is repeat this stitch pattern, working two single crochets, skipping a chain, two single crochets, until you have worked all the way down your chain and you have two chains remaining at the end. So I'm going to do that all the way down here until I have reached the end. So I have just finished coming all the way down my chain here with this stitch pattern. And now I have these two chains remaining. We're going to skip the second to last chain and then just single crochet into this last chain. Just like this. Now from here, chain one, turn your work around and that chain one actually does count as our first stitch. So now beginning into this second stitch or, or beginning into this first single crochet stitch, you want to single crochet, skip the next stitch, and then single crochet twice into this next stitch. That's one single crochet. Then back into that same stitch, single crochet twice, skip a stitch, then single crochet twice. Once again, skip a stitch, single crochet twice. Now you want to repeat this pattern, skipping a stitch, single crocheting twice into each stitch until you have two stitches remaining at the end of your row. So I'm going to work this up and then I'll meet you back once I reach the end. So I have just finished coming all the way down my row here. Now I have these two stitches remaining and I'm just going to skip this first stitch and then into this last stitch which should be that turning chain. Just single crochet, chain one which does count as a stitch and then turn your work. Now you just want to repeat this row which is row two until you have a total of 36 rows. So I'm going to work up my 36 rows and then I will meet you back for the next steps. 
So I have made it back here with my 36 rows. And once you reach the end, all you want to do is just cut and fasten off. Now from here, we're going to begin seaming, which is really easy. You're just going to flip your work long ways, just like this. But now beginning into this corner, you want to seam using a tapestry needle coming all the way down here. And then once you reach the end, cut and fasten off. But that is fairly simple, so I'm just going to seam this edge up and then I'll meet you back. So guys, I am back here with my work all seamed up. So now that we have our bodice all set, we're going to get started on our flare at the end here. And to begin on that, I'm just going to make a slip knot. And then insert my hook right into the seam of our work. So my seam is over here. And I'm just going to insert my hook. Slip stitch to secure. From this point, make a chain of two. So one, two, and that chain two does count as our first stitch. So beginning it into the second stitch, which is right over here, we're gonna work one double crochet to work a double crochet, yarn over, and insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch, we're gonna do an increase, so work two double crochets. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and back into the same stitch, doing this again, yarning over, insert, pull through, two, and then two. Now you want to repeat doing one double crochet, and then two double crochets into the next stitch until you have worked all the way around your row. I'm going to do this one more time. Double crochet into this next stitch, and then double crochet twice into the next. That is one, and then coming back into the same stitch, just like this. So I'm going to work all the way around, and then I will let me back once I have reached the end. So I am back here with my increase row. And then once you have made it to this point, all you want to do is just insert your hook into that top second chain and slip stitch to join this row. And that's how you're going to join each row. From here, chain two, which counts as a stitch. Now our next row is really easy. All we're going to do is just double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So beginning into the second stitch here, we're going to double crochet. And then just double crocheting into each stitch all the way around. So I'm going to do this and then I'll meet you back once I reach the end. So I have just finished up that round of double crochets and just like last time, all you want to do is just slip stitch into this top chain or the second chain to join each row, chain two, and then turn your work around. And now you want to repeat that row, which is row two, until you have a total of 19 rows. So I'm going to work up my 19 rows and then I'll see you back soon. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with my 17 rows. Once I finished the last stitch of the last row, all I did was just cut and fasten off. So now we're going to leave this aside and we're going to move up to working the straps up here. So let's go ahead and begin on that. So now we're going to begin on the straps. So I'm going to make a slip knot. And from here, make a chain of 33. So just doing that yarn over, pull through, yarn, yarning over and pulling through just like this. And so you have a total of 33 chains. So 
So after you have worked this chain of 33, beginning into this third chain from our hook, work a double crochet. And from here, all you want to do is just work a double crochet into each chain across. So again, just yarning over into this next chain, pull through two and then two, and then doing this all the way across your chain. Once you have made it to the end of your chain with these double crochets, go ahead and chain two, and that does count as our first stitch. Now beginning into this first stitch, we're going to double crochet. Into this next stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. So this is our first double crochet, and then into that same stitch. And now all you want to do for this row is work two double crochets in each stitch across. So just doing this again, inserting my hook, working a double crochet, coming back into that same stitch, doing another double crochet, and then all you want to do is come all the way across your row, and then I'll meet you back once I reach the end. So I have just finished up this increase row, putting two double crochets into each stitch across. From here, chain two, turn your work around, and now we're going to do our last row, which is row three. We're going to skip this first stitch, inserting our hook into this second stitch, double crochet, and then just double crochet into each across. So I have just finished up that last row of just a regular double crochet row. Not forgetting into this last stitch, you do want to double crochet into that top chain. So now I just cut and tied off and we're going to attach our, our strap to our bodice. So let's go ahead and do that. So attaching our shoulder strap to the bodice is fairly simple. What I'm going to do here is just place my shoulder strap, making sure that the frilled side is facing is facing outwards. And I'm going to then I'm going to measure three inches from the side and then place it right here and then seam it in place using a tapestry needle and some yarn. And then doing that for the opposite side as well, just coming three inches from the edge here and then seaming this in place using a tapestry needle and some yarn. But I'm going to connect my shoulder strap and then I will see you back very shortly. So I am back here with my straps all connected, looking really good. And that is the end of our project basically. The last thing you would need to do is just weave in all of your loose ends. And yeah, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be super helpful if you left a positive review. Bye!